Good morning, this is Cindy and welcome to my channel. You have all of these pieces of long skinny pieces that you cut off of the ends when you are cutting out a digital or trimming up a page and sometimes you have an extra book page that just you know pieces of it that just kind of hanging out. What do you do with them? Well today we're going to take a look at what to do with them. I also have underneath here a piece of well this was just a napkin that I mod podged onto a piece of coffee dyed paper and it's been sitting here for months so today we're gonna to do something with that too so what we're gonna do I have gotten out a whole bunch of stamps I have my stamp it off page which is a brand new page. I'm just starting a new page, but you can see this is coffee dyed paper that ripped. And so that'll be excellent to use for a stamping off page and then use in something later on. So I have all of my stamping blocks. I have lots of different colors of ink to play with. And I have even more of these to play with. So I'm gonna get them all out here so that I can see what I've got. Plus I have just plain old black. So what we're going to do, I think I'm going to go ahead and start actually with this piece because it needs something. Oh, I have my numbers here, which I may use in a minute. Um, I have this piece. This is an old piece from uh, a different kind of set and I never... I'm going to do this in black, this one in black. Um, I never could remember where it comes from, but I like it. So I'm just going to put one of those down there and maybe another one up here. And keep in mind, I also have paper down here to stamp. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there, but I'm going to grab a different stamp and put that in here. What I think I'd also like to do on here, hang on, I have the right, I pulled out all of these stamps for a very specific reason. And I know I pulled, there it is. So this set of stamps are, are tickets. And what I like is this particular stamp here. And let's do this one in Distress Oxide Rustic Wilderness. We'll do this one in green. And we'll do it along the edge to see how it goes first. Yeah, I like that. Um, I don't know if you can see the pattern on there very well. But this is France, and so I figured what we need is a French stamp. And this says, Air Mail, Paris, uh, 1st May, I don't know, I can't read it, it's upside down. So let's pull it this way. And we'll do another one up here. There. So we'll put a couple of those on there. And we need some numbers. I'm going to kind of dump out a bunch of numbers here. I don't want the number sign. I do want numbers. Come on. Of course, I'm doing this on camera, so they're being, you know, recalcitrant. I have this. This is uh, purple. I'm looking to see if it had a different name. Nope, just purple. So let's put, um, because this will eventually get cut up and used somehow. I don't know exactly how. Okay, I think that's enough fives. Let's do, I don't know if it's, we, this is a six and a nine, so we'll go, 
uh, well, right next to that one. That'll be 59. This will be 65. I'll just put a six over there. And we'll put a six over here. Okay, it's enough sixes. Might be enough numbers. Let's do one more number. Seven. Lucky number seven. Sixty-seven down there. Seventy-six over here. We'll do five, seven there. And we'll throw one in there. Okay, so obviously we're just playing. We just have stamps out and we are playing. I, these are all tickets. Let me see here. We have a transport ticket, a ticket to travel. There's a welcome to London. I don't want the welcome to London, but there is a Paris 9 on here. So let's go ahead and use the Paris 9. And we'll go ahead and use that in the purple again. So some of this may actually end up on something else. Okay, I'm going to stamp these off. I have been just kind of putting them over here in case I wanted to use them again, but I think I'm just going to stamp them off. Am I on camera to do that? Yeah. Okay, those are all stamped off. I'll stamp off you. And we'll stamp off you. Now, some people, this is all they would do. They would only stamp things off and then they don't do anything further with it. I will go wash these at some point as we're going along because I don't want them to, um, I, I don't want ink to build up on them. Okay, we have, just this just says ticket down here. It's very small, it just says ticket, and I like the smallness of it. Um, there's some teal in here, so let's try this peacock feathers for the ticket. We'll put the ticket down here, see how it comes out. Ooh, that's a very bright teal, but it might not be quite so teal on here, or quite so bright on here. Yeah, it just kind of adds another layer of stuff. Okay. I think I want to put some black in there. I have been taking these off and putting them on one of the other ones because I like that size. Okay, what else do I have? Um, this is, I've used this one. Obviously, I use this one a lot because it's stained. Um, and I'm going to use black on that one. But I like this one because it's a partial. You don't see the whole thing. You only see pieces of it. Okay, I think we need like a big rose or something. I'm leaving these over here. We will put things away later. Right now, we're just looking at what we've got and what we want. Oh, I got a time a clock. Let's do the clock. I'm going to do the clock in. Okay, put that over there. What color do I want to do the clock in? I have this um, rusty hinge. That might be a little bit too bright. Let's try rusty hinge over here. That's very bright. Yeah, it's too bright. No rusty hinge. 
not for you today. Um, what about walnut stain? I'll try you and walnut stain. That's pretty dark, but I think if we're careful, yeah, if I just hit it lightly, it just adds a little bit of something to it without being too obnoxious there. Now, I'm not actually, I'm going to set this aside for a minute because, um, I, and I'm going to grab one of my wider pieces. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and keep using the walnut stain because I do like that for the darkness. I am going to be working on a time journal. I made one before and it sold actually fairly quickly. It was called Captured Time. This next one will be called Time in a Bottle. And I'm going to need some time stamps of this sort. Stamps related to time. So I will fussy cut those out and use them throughout my new journal. I'll put that up there. Stamp you off. There's not much left. Put walnut stain away. And move on. Are we finished with this? I don't think so. I think we still need, I said about a flower. We need a flower in there. Let me see what I have in the way of flowers here. I have this set. I like that flower there. And we need something pretty. What do we have that's pretty? I have this purple that I think I might like better than the other purple. I have used this purple in the past and I really like it. So I'm going to put the flowers here. And let's go flowers over the flowers. That'll give the flowers some color or make them messy. Kind of hard to tell. I like the flowers over the time. See, I like how that works. This is a deeper purple. It's not quite so bright. Because if I cut this up, heaven only knows where the flowers may end up. Put one more here, and then I think we're going to call this one done. Okay. At some point, we will cut that up and make journal tags out of it. I do like this archival. This is Archival Ink Dusty Concord. That's one of my favorites. I do like that. Okay, I'm going to take a minute. Now, you know what? I'm, you're working. Go ahead. Keep working. You're doing all right. I am going to bring my paper over for some of these because I don't want to get ink on my uh, pad here. <clears throat> and for this one, I think I will use the rusty hinge. I know it's bright, but that's okay. So I'm going to make a bunch of sevens. And then I can cut these out and use them as I wish. I'm leaving spaces for some of them because some of them will have another number. Okay, seven, done. Let's pick a different color. How about eight? And I can, I'm not really trying to line them up very well. Um, I don't know what number this is. This is number two. So we can have a 72, 872. Just put the two in there. Because when I rip these up, And what do 
I have over here? That's the five. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean. So now I can take this, if I can pick it up, and I rip off, now I have a seven. I can have just the seven here. I can have 27. I can have 278. I, that one's a little bit, that's uh, nothing. I like 72 and five. And what do I have here? I think I'm gonna keep the seven by itself. I'm gonna keep the eight by itself. The two by itself. I think I'm going to go ahead and tear down the 78, the two. Oh, let's keep the 75 together for now. I can always rip them apart later. And the 872. These go in to make more paper. Goes in my paper bag. But this is one of the things that you can do with your, those extra strips. Now when I make a journal card out of this, I can always choose to put an eight on there or a seven or whatever. Okay. You can see how it works. All right. Let me cover that one up because I don't think I want to use any more of those at the moment. I have a fairly large one here and I'll oh, piece. <clears throat> and I think I want to go back to my clocks. I have this clock here. And I want to do this one, I think, just in black. Oh, gosh. Kind of faded off to the side, but I don't know that that's so much of a problem. All right, so now I have a clock. Um, I have a big wide piece here. And for this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I have some tall skinnies. These are Tim Holtz ones. I got these fairly early on. Um, so let me grab my larger piece. Okay, and this one we want a nice bright color. What do we want? We want, let's try, this is barn door. Let's make a barn door red one. A nice bright color for this. Okay, that didn't come out quite as well as I'd hoped. But it still will work all right. I'm going to put more ink on it and do a different one. This is a two tone. I can use the, maybe I'll go ahead and use the two tone on this one. Um, I was gonna just use the other side, but I kind of like the two-tone-ish. I probably should have my glue book under here. That would help. Okay, I'm gonna do one more, but I'm gonna put my glue book underneath to have a little bit of, um, sometimes when you have a little give in the, it, it will make a better impression. Okay. And I know some people have the fancy stuff. I don't have any of the fancy toys. I don't know that that made any better impression. Okay, that needs to go away. All right, maybe we'll bag this one. Okay. I mean, we'll use them. We'll use them for something at some point, but let's go ahead and throw that up there um, and stamp you off. Okay, sometimes when you stamp off, there isn't much of an impression because there really isn't much ink on it. All right, I'm going to set that over there, and let's go with um, 
long skinny come on that's stuck oh my glory this is really stuck I have used it before you would think I had never taken it off of there okay I'll come over here and this time I'm going to use what is this peeled paint I never closed up my barn door close that barn door close the barn door there we go so this one is peeled paint oh, that's an odd num odd name for it it's really actually a very pretty green see I like that so that'll be two different pieces we'll cut that off later I know I'm trying something I'm playing I did not add any ink to it okay now I'm adding ink to it yeah kind of gives a ghost image I'm okay with that all right so those are some wider pieces so I think you're getting the point if you have all of these extra pieces, use them. Don't let them just sit there. Use it up. You know what? I kind of like that for the green. Um, although, I'm looking to see. I have the Rustic Wilderness. Let's try Rustic Wilderness on top of you instead, just to see what happens. Um, just take those pieces Use whatever stamps you have. And these will make nice focal points on all sorts of things. Journal tar cards, tags, pages. You can use them for just about anything. All right, I'm going to sit here and play with these. And um, I don't know that I will get through all of these today. There are an awful lot of them. But I'm going to sit here and play with them. And um, I hope you're having a great week. And this is Cindy signing off. Another piece that you can do with these is make borders out of them. Um, I have a very cool little flower stamp. I lost it. There it is. So I have this little tiny flower stamp. Actually, I think I'm going to put it this way. And I'm going to use, this is Seedless Preserves. And I'm going to make a border stamp. Um, and this is a nice border. If you've got tiny little stamps, you could do it with butterflies with bees, with whatever you happen to have. And you use the same color all the way down. And you can make a nice border can go along the side of the page or it could be you know depending on the weight of your paper this one could be a belly band all by itself so yeah just something else that you can do with those stamps and these strips all right and now I'm really signing off